Your first step is to color onto paper. You can use absolutely any medium. I'm just working with some watercolors here. So you're welcome to do whatever you would like, really. And this could be something that you specifically do for this project, or it could be perhaps something that didn't quite work out the way you had hoped, and you're repurposing some colored paper die cutting and using your scan and cut is a great way to make the most of let's say creative boo-boos or things that didn't quite go your way or work out so i'm just making myself a little rainbow here now with my scan and cut on i'm going to select my pattern i already know i had a word in mind and if you're custom creating a background or a design like i am i recommend having a general idea what size and what approximately what size and shape you're working with. So this is the one I wanted, Celebrate, and I want it to be five inches wide. Actually, I might want it to be a little under five inches, so we'll go 4.85, there we go. All right, and I don't know where I want it yet. Now you might notice how my screen, it's a little different. This button right here, there are two different sizes of mats for the Scan and Cut DX, 12 by 24, 12 by 12. I was using the 12 by 24 yesterday, which is why that's selected. So I just want to go ahead and tell it I'm on the 12 by 12 mat now. And then I'm going to press the Scan button and push Start. And this is going to scan in my material. And it's going to show me exactly where that design is. All right, and I'm letting this run because it doesn't take very long at all. This works great for so many different things. So this will work wonderfully for all kinds of things from I want to cut a certain part of a paper to I made a background, where is it? All right, so I'm going to need to decide. So I made it wider than we need. I'm gonna to need to decide what part of it I want. Now, what I think I'm going to do is actually go into object edit and I'm gonna make two of them. And I'm going to, I, cause, because I think, looking at this, I believe I can actually make two. They don't quite fit, but we can make it work. And here's how. If we push this button right here, I can change the angle of my designs. Okay, and this should actually allow us to work a little better. And then when we get into, we really want to fine tune how a design is or exactly where it is. I like to do this where I'm just pressing like so. I like that a lot, that's fun. And then this one, let's get into the purple a little bit more. And I actually think, on this one I can go back into edit, and I think I can actually, one degree at a time here, I'm just gonna shift that up a little bit. Now, to use this all up, as long as we're in here cutting, we can cut these out and then come back, but I could also, I had the thought of some little stars. So let's go in here and grab a star and say, I, it's way too big, but that's fine. Because then I can come in here and go to edit, and I can make the star much, much smaller. I'm gonna make it pretty small. I'm thinking around an, about an inch. And I'm gonna add, so I'm gonna make four of those. And then these stars, I will move around here and if I need to, it wasn't quite what I wanted. There we go. Now what I can do, whoops, wrong button, this button. Now what I can do is I can make some of them a little smaller. Okay, like so, so that everybody fits in there nicely. I can move them around as needed. And again, if I'm having problems getting it exactly where I want, remember we've got this button right here so that we can bump up just a little bit. And once we're happy with that, all we need to do is say okay all the way through until we get to select and cut. This is gonna be a lot of fun. And see here where it says half cut on? I was cutting vinyl yesterday. So when you're cutting vinyl or something where you only want it to halfway cut through, you want that on. If you wanna cut all the way through paper, you want it off. 
We'll select off and let the scan and cut cut all of this out for us. So I had another paper, another experiment, I guess I should say. So to get my second cut, I just cut that second paper. And you can see that's just so much fun. So that's what we have here on the mat now. And I am using my little tool here to lift these off. Watercolor paper is a lot of fun to play with with the scan and cut, but you do need to remember it's a very... Um, it's a very sticky paper is something that I call it because on the mat, the little fibers of the watercolor paper like to stick. So you really want to take your time. You see how slow and careful I'm being here. You want to take your time and lift it gently. I like a simple card, but I also want to have a little fun here. So what I've done, I've got my card here and more uh, watercolor paper, and I'm just putting down a little bit of tape whatever kind of masking washi style of tape you have is fine. And I'm not really scrubbing it on there. I'm just kind of lightly setting it there. And then I have my watercolors and I'm just going to pick up color. And actually, oops, I don't want to do it that I don't want to do that color. That's okay though. We can, we can adjust. So I just want to kind of mimic the colors that I'm going to be seeing here. So I'm just going to go in and add some watercolor at the top and the bottom. Once you have finished, you remove the tape and you see how there's a fairly clean line. It's not perfect. Example, the second one that I did, there's a little more bleeding, but it's okay, guys. It's a watercolor card, but look how fun that is. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going in with my watercolor and a lot of water and some gold and I'm just tapping my little water brush here to get some gold flecks of color. Now this is just gonna kind of tie everybody in together and just kind of make for a fun little accent, a little bit of, like I said, tying it all together, but also just, I love little flecks of gold and things, especially for celebrations, I think that's fun. So however much I want, or as little as I want, and yes, you can do other colors, it doesn't have to be gold. And then once that's done, what we wanna do is let these fully dry and then probably place heavy books over them so that they completely flatten. And then I'm going to place these onto their actual cards and we'll finish decorating. As you can see, I've mounted this onto a folded card. I like working like this with things like watercolor because then if it gets messy or there's a problem, you haven't ruined a whole card or you can, like in this case, I ended up flattening these overnight so they're all nice now. Look at that, how cute. So now all it has to do is, if you want to, go ahead and decorate. And you can use the little stars that we already cut out. I'm just putting a tiny drop of liquid adhesive onto these. And we can put stars. We can use little, I have some little sequins here. No rules whatsoever. So I'm just gonna put a few little sequins on here just to show you. And I'm gonna keep this fairly flat, so I'm not gonna add things like buttons and things that add a lot of heavy dimension. I want this to be able to be mailed without extra postage. But how fun is that? And I just love that my watercolor idea plus my scan and cut could equal such a fun card. And this says celebrate, you could do any theme, any set of colors. We could do Christmas cards. We could do Thanksgiving cards. We could do anything we like. And like I said before, you could use the word itself for any kind of paper project you like.